You're listening to The Cultured Bumpkin, a literature podcast with Jake Phillips, where we present audiobook quality readings of the classics for your enjoyment. Thank you for stopping by. And remember, just because you're a bumpkin doesn't mean you can't be cultured. Hello and welcome to The Cultured Bumpkin. Welcome back if you've been here before. If it's your first time, welcome for the first time. So glad to have you. And today, we're going to read some Walt Whitman. I love this particular poem. Now, Walt Whitman obviously needs no introduction to most people. And if you if you haven't heard of him, no worries. He was a great American poet, uh, kind of in the uh, mid to late 1800s. And uh, he was just, he had a big influence on a lot of people to this day in their writing and uh, all kind of stuff. He wrote Leaves of Grass. He wrote Song of Myself. Like, there's a lot of great works that he did, which you should check out. This one is called I Hear America Singing. And I really like it. It just sort of, to me, glorifies uh, working blue-collar people going about their business. And these are the kind of people that uh, make America the wonderful place that it is, or that it can be anyway. And uh, to my listeners around the world, I'm so happy to have you listening in. Uh, I th- I think that any kind of population like this that works hard and has a song in their heart while they're doing it, wherever they are, that's a good bunch of folks that I would like. I would like those people. And so this that's what this is about. And it's called I Hear America Singing by Walt Whitman. And it goes like this. I hear America singing, the varied carols I hear, those of mechanics, each one singing his as it should be, blithe and strong, the carpenter singing his as he measures his plank or beam, the mason singing his as he makes ready for work or leaves off work, the boatman singing what belongs to him in his boat, the deckhand singing on the steamboat deck, the shoemaker singing as he sits on his bench, the hatter singing as he stands, the woodcutter's song, the plowboy's on his way in the morning, or at noon intermission, or at sundown, the delicious singing of the mother, or of the young wife at work, or of the girl sewing or washing, each singing what belongs to him or her and to none else. The day what belongs to the day, at night the party of young fellows, robust, friendly, singing with open mouths their strong, melodious songs. Isn't that a nice poem? I really like that. It just He does such a great job of painting these wonderful word pictures of just people that are contented and uh, you know working hard to make a living for themselves and they're happy while they're doing it. I don't think anybody could really ask for more than that. If you enjoyed that, I hope that you'll subscribe to The Cultured Bumpkin uh, leave a review if you can, and tell a friend, or two, or maybe three, and just say, hey, you should try this out. Send them the link. I would really appreciate that. Thank you very much for listening. You've been listening to The Cultured Bumpkin, a literature podcast with Jake Phillips. Thank you very much for listening. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed this, Would you mind going and subscribing and leaving a nice review on whatever podcast platform platform you heard this on? I would really appreciate it. Thank you very much for listening, and we'll see you next time.